different um I feel like they look really thick thicker than usual and longer I don't know how I feel about it I try to make a life change I don't know if it's working out for me let me know what you guys think so first one I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my born this way foundation I already primed my face I use the Too Faced hangover um I always change primers depending on like what my skin is I usually use when I'm having bad breakouts is the Smashbox, um, it's the green tube, it's for like redness and all that, it's supposed to be, help you prevent getting acne. I do notice when I use it that it, um, if I like use it before I'm going to be wearing my makeup all day, it helps um, not clog my pores and I won't break out. And I notice that if I don't use it and I'm wearing makeup all day, that it will clog my pores and then I'll end up breaking out. So. I really like that one if you're having acne issues from wearing makeup. So once I have that all on with my foundation brush, I'm just going to take a beauty blender and I just basically push it all into my skin and that's going to get rid of all those little lines and creases that you get. And I take my time doing this because like that's something people will definitely notice is if you have foundation lines because it'll sit into your fine lines and it'll make you look like you have wrinkles so just take the extra time to really make sure you get all those lines buffed out all right mommy's looking a little bit pale right now but don't worry i'm going to warm up my face at the end just in case i have any fallout i can make sure that i clean it up really well so what i'm going to use today is i'm going to use something different i've been using violet Voss for like 87 years so what i'm going to do is i am going to use some morphe shadows that i picked out myself um, and I'm really excited about it. Is I'm going to take this color called Golden Glory by Morphe. And it's really pretty. It has a lot of shimmer to it. So it's really good for summertime. And if you have like a tan happening. I normally don't use shimmery colors as my transition color. But today it's happening. I just felt good about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush into it. I'm going to start, I'm going to basically make my own crease. So here is where my crease starts. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going, I'm lying to you. I'm terrible. I'm going to take a smaller brush. This brush right here. This is like more of an angled pointed brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush into it. And then I'm going to start making my own crease. And I'm going to go a little bit above where my natural crease is. I'm going to basically draw my own crease on and I'm going to use a light hand and make sure you have your face looking back. That way when you look this way, your lid, you don't have a skin fold. Because if you have a skin fold, when you open your eyes up and look straight on, you're not going to see the crease. So I'm just drawing that in and I'm going to bring it out. Okay, I'm feeling pretty dramatic, so I'm just going to bring it out as far as basically my brow goes. And it looks super harsh right now, but we're going to blend it all out, so don't worry. Like that. This color is just like so shiny and pigmented. I just really, really love it. I was going through my palettes and I forgot that I had this, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I've ever even used this color and I got it like a year ago. So, I had to use it. So then I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of this. Now, if you're using a shimmer color, you want to make sure you don't lay any powder down on your eyes whatsoever because it makes that shimmer harder to come through. If you lay a shimmer down on a flat like creamy surface the um, shimmer is gonna sit onto that cream and it's really gonna pop out so you're gonna it's gonna be more intense for you so just blend out those top edges and I didn't have anything on this brush I literally just blended it all out like that and then if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic you can go in I'm pretty happy with how this is, if I want to add more a little bit later, I can do that. Then what I want to do next is I'm going to take this color by MAC. It's called Rule, and it's like a really intense orange. And I know oranges are pretty scary. But once you um, 
uh, build up your face with uh, bronzes and stuff. It's going to look really, really good. And if you have brown eyes like me, it's really going to make your eyes pop. Okay, so for this part, I'm just going to use a small angled brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a light hand. And I'm just going to dip a little bit of that orange. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right underneath where we started with that shimmer color. And we are just going to follow that crease we made all the way into the inner corner. We bring it all the way out. So you don't want anything to really fall down, but if it does, that's okay. Well, you can clean it up with concealer. It's not a huge deal. So with my angle, I'm using the bigger side on the inner part of my corner. And I'm just lightly tapping it on. And as I lightly tap it on, I'm just dragging my brush up a tiny, tiny bit just so that we have a little bit of fade going on and it'll just give you more depth. So it'll, it'll go from that matte deep orange into the shimmer. Then again, I am going to take that deep golden shimmery color on the little bit of a bigger brush. And I'm just gonna start packing that back up onto the top just to make sure we still have that really intense shimmer up top. We want everything to look nice and faded. Just like that. And we're just going to go back with the orange and just make sure everything's nice and blended and nothing looks like two different lines. It looks like they faded together on your skin. So take as long as you need for this because you want it to look good. You don't want it to look like a mess. So then to cut the crease and give it herself like a really strong lid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some CoverGirl Fresh, yeah, Fresh Complexion and I'm just going to dip a little bit onto a brush. I'm going to dip a little bit onto this flat brush right here. You only need a tiny, tiny bit. You don't want to use too much because then it will just like be a mess. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle of my eye and I'm going to start up where I'm going to start up where I want to cut my crease. So I'm going to start below the orange. And I'm just going to push this into my skin and I'm using a really light hand and I'm going a little bit at a time. Make sure again you're tilting your head back, that way your skin is nice and tight. That way the concealer doesn't crease into the natural folds of your skin. So once you have all your concealer on, you're just going to pack on top of it the color that you want on your lid. I chose this color called Pink Silk by Morphe. It's really like a nice little white, but it has a little bit of a pinky purpley color to it. That way it doesn't look so flat white. It just has a little dimension to it. Then I'm just going to pack that on top of the concealer. And you want to stay right on top of that concealer. That's why I said if you got a little messy with the oranges, that's okay. The concealer is going to help hide any flaws or imperfections. So just use your concealer as like a little guide. Okay, so now for the wing. What I do for my wing is I'm going to use some NYX Precision Liner for a nice clean wing. What I like to do is I like to dip it one time, then I'm going to start in the middle of my eye, make sure I'm looking down, and I'm just going to sweep it across as close to your lashes as you can. So I'm going to follow that crease out. So I'm going to just go like that. Right underneath where that concealer is and where we put the lighter shade. Then I'm going to go into the middle of where we put that line. Bring it up just a little bit to make it thicker. And then we're going to fill in that triangle.
Now, if you mess up any of your wing and get anything underneath here, don't worry, that's why I got made concealer, and of course, you can clean it all up. So, once you have your liner on, I'm just gonna let it dry for a few minutes um, before I put lashes and all that stuff on, just because I don't wanna blink and have it transfer. So, I'm just gonna start working on like bronzing my face up, concealing. So, I'm just gonna use this CoverGirl Fresh Complexion again. And if you need to clean up your wing, just get really close to it. To bring my concealer down my nose, um, I don't really do it any certain way. Around my lips, my nose some down here on the pimp and up in my forehead really no certain way well now that I have my concealer on I'm looking stupid pale so I'm gonna bronze it up with some LA girl pro conceal and this is in warm honey and this is going to help me start building that bronzer so I'm just putting it all up in here I put it on my chin, down into here. I like to get rid of that double chin. Then I'm gonna put a bunch up into my forehead. I don't really have a big forehead, but um, I don't really wanna be super contoured, so I just kinda want it everywhere a little bit. But we're gonna end up cleaning it up at the end and stuff, don't worry. Real Techniques Stippling Brush, and I'm just going to do little circular motions with this. You don't really need to use a lot of pressure. The more pressure you use, that's where you're going to get that muddy look. So just use a light hand, and it's almost like you're wiping away when you're, you know how when you're baking translucent powder, it's almost like you're going to do that, like you're wiping it away. look a little bit tanner already so now I just want to start setting my face I'm going to use the NYX contour palette and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some of the yellow on here and I'm going to go under my eyes with the yellow I don't want to use a translucent color or nothing really bright because my face was already looking super pale to begin with so I don't want to add to that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another Real Techniques brush, the big fluff fluffy blush brush, and I'm going to dip this into the darkest shade right here and into the lightest shade. And then I'm going to start really warming up my face. Well, my plan was to throw on some Iconics until uh, they decided to break in half, which I'm really sad about. But I'll throw them one at the end. Um, so I'll just work on my under eyes. So what I'm going to take is this Midnight Blue Liner from Ulta. And I'm going to sweep that underneath my eye. So I'm bringing it down underneath into where you would tight line as well. Just so you can really see that blue pop. I'm going to take some Maybelline Gel Aligner. And I'm just going to um, put that into my lower lash line as well. I wasn't going to do that at first, um, but then I saw how horribly this Ulta liner doesn't stay on your lower lash line. Um, it looks really nice when it, that I brought it down into where my lashes are, but it doesn't look very nice actually in the crease. It almost looks like um, really blotch. I'm just going to take my finger, I'm just going to smudge, well no not actually, I'm going to take a smudge brush. I'm just going to smudge some of that blue and that black together just so they blend nice. As I'm going to take some of this ColourPop shadow. Make sure you have a clean finger. Um, I used to hate ColourPop shadows until I realized to use my finger with it. This color is in Amira. It's really pretty. It's almost like this burnt goldish color with some greens in it. I'm just going to pop it right on top of that, but I'm only going to go halfway from the middle. And 
and here is my final look with my lashes on.